सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी ओपन वर्ल्ड गेम सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट एपिसोड आई शोड यू हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट दिस वेरी कूल लैंडस्केप दैट यू सी राइट ओवर हियर लुक्स रियलिस्टिक राइट सो यू बेटर चेक दैट आउट इफ यू मिस्ट इट सो या इट्स अ लॉन्ग वीडियो बट इट शोज यू हाउ टू डू सम रियली कूल थिंग्स विद वर्ल्ड मशीन so yeah guys and also one more thing i would like to say is thank you for the support on this channel we have reached 70 subscribers and um soon uh we'll be reaching 100 so let's begin with this goal guys hashtag road to 100 um so now let's start um so where we left off i'm just going to go to the ground here so where we left off is this guy can basically you know walk run jump um but you know a game without feelings is a game without sound i mean i i meant to say the opposite but a game without sound is a game without feelings and we have to generate feelings in our players so uh, like he is actually inside of the game so we need to give this guy some footsteps because this is just boring right this is boring so let's start off so this um approach that i'm using it's actually fairly easy and uh, also like a good approach if you ask me so like um i'll show you what i'll do so if you go into drear animations and for example let's shake walk so now we'll add um some way to notify this computer that okay uh there is an event that is occurring it's a special event i want to keep track of it so when does it occur in the animation well first of all that special event is the footstep uh, and at that point we're going to play a sound so there and um let's see there like right about there um boom right so on approximately frame 9 i uh, will place our this thing the red thing <laughs> playback head and then in the notifies uh, thing over here we're going to right click and add notify new notify and we're going to name this um let me just see which which foot this is this is the left foot right so we're just going to add a notify new notify foot foot step underscore l okay that means left and you can do the same thing for right so if you have a different walking animation then you know uh oh okay around uh, no. boom yeah so around here 20 25 yeah around 25 and 26 i'll add another notify you know notify so Not root, but foot step underscore r. Yeah. So yeah. So now let's check. So yeah. Um. So this looks good. Um. So uh, I could just go on ahead and play and um play like um. You know, I can just play a sound. but that you know from a coding standpoint that isn't a really good approach you know like if you give this project to someone else that they won't figure out how you did this what you how you implement with this so what you need to do is just go ahead and do this thing in every animation that you have um so except idle and if you want to include jump you can include jump always um so that is your choice so boom i'll show you for two so boom there it is boom, right i'll just add a new notify here actually i'll just put step l over here and boom put step r over here save it and then just go ahead and you know pull up all the animations and do this um same thing so i'll just pause this video right over here and uh, you can do this thing um so yeah see you. 
um so <clears throat> hello again guys so i have done uh, the same thing for all the animations including jump also um so that we can see the effect in jump too um so now what i'm going to do <clears throat> is a uh, sorry so basically um we can go to the animation blueprint and we'll just create a new graph okay we'll just create a notify graph to again keep these uh, things organized in this notify graph we'll add the um and in notify footstep l and footstep r which is for right okay um so now what i could always do is basically uh, i can just open up character bp and then you know create um, a custom event um called footsteps um and i could just access that um okay a weird thing is happening so uh, i could just access that um into here by bringing in the character reference and then we need to cast it and then connect this and as there a uh, dread bp we can access this footstep right so we can always do that but um i wouldn't necessarily uh, necessarily call it a good approach as basically this is a class and this is a separate class the animation blueprint so we are making a dependency in the two classes by doing this so if we remove this for instance we swap it out with another thing then this whole thing will break uh, the footstep thing at least so we are making this dependent so we want to keep it independent so that's what we are going to do um so we'll just remove this okay um and what we'll do is instead of that in our blueprints right we're just going to create an interface folder and uh, inside of interfaces we're going to go in blueprints and blueprint interface and then we're going to name that character underscore bpi which means blueprint interface what are blueprint interface basically so basically they uh, allow you to create sort of your own blueprints right so you can just uh, create a new function and rename this to like um and no footsteps <laughs> right and then you can add an input which is um so we need a way to check if it is the left foot or not so i guess left step yeah and we're going to keep this boolean as i explained you in um an earlier video that a boolean is basically a true or false value and we need to check that now that's pretty much it for this i'm going to save this and the cool thing about this is is that um uh when you go into your um, character okay let us go into my character um and then in the class uh, settings uh, in the implemented interfaces you can add um your own interface which is um vpi yes, character vpi <laughs> i almost forgot that and you can just do that <clears throat> so now if if we go um right now to their abp and we bring a reference to the character and then we instead of casting to the character we can just plainly get this interface right so um steps and we have this this function so uh, if the left foot step is triggered then obviously it's a left step if not then it is not right and just plug this into target or you know I'll just create a separate one doesn't matter because it's just overlapping this so I'll just break links to this yeah so now what we can do is inside of our character I don't know what this weird glitch is. It's splitting them. Um, but inside this, uh, what we can do is create a sounds 
and effects because we're gonna add that later and oh god <laughs> oh. okay when will i get better at typing so sounds and effects um so now if we if go away yeah so if we just write footsteps over here uh, we need to call the event footsteps there and not this this is the function um right so we can just um create um sound 2d um actually we'll sound on i forgot the name of the yeah play sound at location um so you can just plug this in and for the sound we will need a sound asset but luckily um in the open world folder i have op uh, i have a sound that was made by me as you can see okay yeah footsteps yeah so as you can see um kalash pande so this was made by me and you can see so to import a sound into unreal engine it has to be a wave file and if you are importing a footstep like it ha doesn't have to be a thousand footstep it just has to be one footstep which is looping right so you just take this and then drag it into okay wait, let me just create a new folder named audio okay audio oh you do um okay sorry guys just forgive me for this typing but oh do thanks <laughs> okay and um we're just gonna import this footstep here now this is for the grass only um so you know you can just play this and see for yourself so now we're not just gonna use the sound wave we're gonna create a cue out of this and then press enter control s to save it and then in here we can like edit this and stuff um but okay this is okay we don't need to edit it um right now so we'll just head back into our character um we are underscore bp and i'm just gonna select footsteps cue um and then location get the location where so i guess this should work so now we see we <laughs> so we're just gonna fall down because the camera was too high and then you can see that this works right but um yeah you can see it's too loud footsteps don't need to be that loud um if your character isn't hulk um then your footsteps don't need to be that loud um so you can just edit this easily by um selecting the this void over here uh, in the grass footsteps and then volume multiply the shrink the shrink that down see play i think that's good uh, let me just go ahead a bit so i guess that's fine because that is mostly how the sound is of of footsteps right so i guess this is fine yeah so this is fine so what we'll do um in uh, the next video is uh, i don't uh, i will not confirm this yet um but um you know we're going to implement uh different kinds of footsteps you know for different things like for this is the, the for the grass right and we're going to implement for wood and for for stone and it's all going to be really exciting i'm not confirmed that i'm going to be doing this in the next video only but i'm going to be doing that in some video so stay tuned for that 
and if you like this video then uh, please be sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified uh, about each uh, and every um, video that I upload so stay tuned and thanks for watching